Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the five things you guys should be doing every single day as you log into New World. These are things that are not just going to up your gear score or give you umbreal shards or gold. They're going to make you actually have fun in the game because they're fun activities that typically are not going to be just running around with a mob of people and collecting chests like they used to be. So let's jump into the five things that we should be doing every day in New World to collect tons of gold, XP, and obviously great gear as well. So the first thing we're going to do is focus in on the daily faction quests. Uh, let's go to my quest guy. I just, by the way, switched faction reps uh, to Covenant. So realistically, I have no reputation. I have to build that right back up. But the cool thing about this is Shattered Mountain and Brightwood PvE and Shattered Mountain PvP, I should say, uh, are probably the best two. Also, Great Cleave PvP is really good. But you're going to want to do these activities. So you can see the amount of gold and faction tokens you're going to receive for this. So if you do the PvP, you can see here you also get Azoth Salt and PvP XP, which will help get your level in PvP much higher, much quicker. But 135 gold plus 120 gold, so you're getting about 250 gold every single time you do a PvP mission. I'm sorry, 135 and 120, because realistically, you're not going to do Vanquish. Vanquish is when you defeat Syndicate or Marauder members to purify their souls. So basically, you have to kill somebody out in the wild, which typically is not going to happen. So about a 250 gold is what you're going to get for about, I don't know, five minutes of your time. And then we have a ton of tokens, which is enough, by the way, to buy both Gypsum orbs. And then you're also going to get a bunch of other stuff as well. So let's just take a look at the item shop here with the faction rep that you're going to want to do every single day. Like I said, most of you guys will probably have this already unlocked. If you don't, make sure to do your faction missions so that you can get this unlocked. But you have these gypsum orbs that just cost 7,000 tokens. Very easy to get every single day. Uh, today, I'm going to be grinding out and getting this all unlocked so I can actually take place in getting these two orbs every day because it's a big, big bonus of getting them. Because I want to show you kind of what they do here on the gypsum kiln. If you guys don't know about the gypsum kiln, this is one of the biggest things that is new to New World since maybe you last played. So you see the gypsum ruby. You can actually craft this um, if you have completed the task, and I'll go over all the tasks as well. But this is one of the tasks that you'll be kind of able to complete. So we also have the diamond. So let me craft these real quick. So we have the gypsum orbs that uh, are really going to let us craft any type of of gear so you can actually take a look right now this is the only jewelry or only really piece that i don't have expertise up to 600 it takes a while to get jewelry up to 600 so i'd always suggest getting your jewelry as the gypsum cast just so that doesn't take as long because gear like i said gear you get non-stop in like chest runs and whatever else you want to do in the actual game so the ring is at 598 right now basically guaranteed to give me a 600 here um, to give me that higher cast uh, or sorry, higher expertise with the gypsum ring. It's always going to be a higher expertise for you. So let's cool. Uh, let's kind of click that real quick. So we did get gear score 600 plus three expertise. You always, like I said, get an expertise bump with the gypsum orb, and it makes the grind much less uh, irritating when starting out as uh, you know that 600 gear score to 625, or really that 590 is going to be very tough to get to 600 without this you know addition. So. It's great to see this as an option, and like I said as well, there's more to it because if you go to the gypsum, I know this is not a gypsum orb or gypsum kiln guide, but I want to kind of understand or want you to understand the benefits of doing these daily missions. Uh, so we go to the fire staff cast. Let's quickly do that, and I'm choosing the fire staff because it's at 623, right? So a 623 fire staff is going to give me the most umbral shards because it's my highest gear or it's my higher, uh, highest slot. So we got a fire staff that's 600, which is pretty cool. It's focused, so it's automatically terrible. Uh, but the cool thing is, is I got a lot of Umbreal shards. And now we can use those Umbreal shards, obviously, to upgrade gear past their mark. Uh, I really like this. I think this is probably a best-in-slot uh, jewelry piece here. I bought this the other day for about 8K. If you look at those uh, perks, really, really good. So we're going to go from 612 to 617, really. And instantly, we get the upgrade. So we're at 617 on that jewelry piece now. And it didn't take much to get those Umbreal shards. So I want to show you guys a little bit more. Like I said, this PvP mission in Shattered Mountain is my favorite. And then if you're doing PvE, you want to do Brightwood as the fastest. But you can see right here, 
that uh, well actually let me let me go back to the gypsum kiln just for a second because I want to show you the other options that uh, you're going to want to do every single day. So topaz gypsum, which is by the way obtained after drinking potions uh, or sorry a certain potion called the topaz gypsum attunement potion, crafted at an arcane station and then slaying 55 plus mobs. So that's a pretty quick one to do every single day. Definitely if you're doing the WTs or world tours in New World, they're definitely going to give you that option to kill many of these. So a smooth orb of gypsum, you can sculpt it into a cast, obviously at the gypsum orb after, or sorry, gypsum kiln after you get that topaz gypsum. And you can read, by the way, you can go to the kiln and just read each individual piece and how you get each individual piece. Another great one is chopping trees or gathering. You get diamond gypsum, by getting three pouches with both gold and gypsum in it, it's really, really good gold and really quick gypsum as well. Um, I kind of want to show you guys how quick that is because I think I only got one today. I always like chopping trees. It's been, for some reason, very successful in the past for me. Um, let me just do a couple, and if I don't get it, that'll just kind of be unlucky. Um, so we got a hidden stash. Okay, so a hidden stash. It's that quick. You get three of them a day. You get instantly a gypsum, which, like I said, is an automatic gear score upgrade. You also get 72 coins in this pouch. Usually you can actually get up to about 100, it seems like. So very, very good all around to make sure you do those three every day. We also have crafting and refining. So after reaching a single aptitude level via either crafting or refining, you are going to get an emerald gypsum. That's another great thing to do every single day. Uh, realistically, I don't focus too much on crafting or refining. You can see my trade skills here. Not too special. Uh, but you are able to see with stone cutting that... Really, these pips are exactly what you're looking for. So 201 right now. If I go one more pip, I'll get a, uh, like I said, an emerald gypsum. So number five is going to be OPR. OPR is a lot of people's best way of getting, you know, automatic two gypsum. Realistically, guys, 3v3 arena is even better. So you can get two gypsum by outpost rush. That takes probably, I don't know, 25 minutes per game at the very least, or right around there actually, depending on the, the teams and how close the game is. But 3v3 Arena, you get a 50% chance if you lose and a 100% chance if you win. So you can get four just by doing PvP. So you want to do two outpost rushes a day and then probably three to four 3v3 Arenas a day, depending on if you win both or maybe you lose all of them and you'll have to do like four or five. But 3v3 Arena is so quick and realistically, it's, in my opinion, more fun as there's more skill involved in the lower scale and small scale PvP as you actually have a say in kind of your teammates and you know how to position. Um, I just like 3v3 quite a bit more, but Outpost Rush is definitely a fun option as well. When it comes to PvP, I'll take any of it. So four gypsum right there. If we do all five of these tasks, realistically, you should, like I said, get quite a bit of gear score upgrades along the way. And this is also great gear, some good gold as well. And remember, you can always do many, many other daily tasks. These are just some that are going to help you out a lot along the way. If you go over here and read, like I said, about each gypsum, Put these into your daily activities. Uh, you know, find out what they do or how to do them, and uh, you can start putting them into your daily activities. So you can run two dungeons a day if you want as well, and you'll get a, uh, you know, awarded a sapphire gypsum for a level 60 plus expedition bosses. So very, very cool all around. There's a lot of different options for you guys to jump into every single day, but these are the five things you should do every single day in new world like i said it's all very quick and you can get probably every single thing i said done in less than easily less than two hours um if you count the expeditions it'll be maybe a little more but uh, realistically like i said without the expeditions you could probably even do an hour and a half and have all of these things done very very quickly so a lot of upgrades in such a short amount of time have fun in new world it's all about having fun there's a lot of cool things that have just been recently added to new world a lot of people saying the game's dead obviously not as we see huge population increases i'm excited for the new new world additions uh you know bonuses that we're getting with brimstone sands and so much more so i'm going to give you so much new content here in the next couple of weeks and months ahead hopefully you guys like today's video i'll see you all in the next one make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on